What's up guys, it's Ken and Christy. We are in front of the heart of Dixie Harley Davidson place. It's Monday morning about 10 o'clock. This is part of our tour of Alabama, check it out. And this one here is really gonna be something special if the outside's any indication. What's your first impression, Christy? It's huge. It's just a mammoth facility. It's like a mall, really. And it looks all brand new. Huge parking lot. They've got a like an outdoor party gondola over there. This would be a great spot to do stunt shows and uh, have bike shows right here in the parking lot. This has got to be a 20 plus million dollar facility. It's absolutely massive. And it's made out of stone, concrete, and glass. And we did a lap around here. And I fat fingered, so we're fat fingered the camera so we're doing a, a take two but around the back here is another like i don't know 40 car garage over here for uh storing motorcycles and or vehicles or whatever loading docks over here and uh it's monday morning all right and i don't think there's many clients in there but there's one two three four five six seven eight there's about 20 cars here so this looks like a dealership that's got uh you know a pretty big staff and it's called heart of dixie harley davidson Come on inside and let's check it out. Because you're filming, you're staring at Well, at least it looks like we belong here. We got our black and orange Harley Davidson trailer to go with the Harley Davidson dealer. Let's see if we can uh, check this place out. Everything's bigger in Alabama. Wow, look at this. Pretty impressive. It's like almost as impressive as entry to the to the uh, Barber Museum. I like to see the first thing you see is a little uh, kids electric motorcycle bicycle they made gotta get the kid look at this place now that's a harley shop hot dog unbelievable look at this place wow billet floors and just beautiful how are you today wonderful how are you good good guys they do free test rides here in pretty much at all major events uh you can if you have a driver's license, you can get a ride on a new Harley Davidson. Go down and fly down to Daytona and give them your license and you can ride around the these perimeter of the track. Um, so let's take a look at the new bikes here. There's a Sportster 48, 10,000. Here's an 883. Under 10 grand gets you a brand new 883. Beautiful bike. One hundred and seven Road Glide. It's a one hundred and fourteen. That's a beautiful bike right there. Another Road Glide. Whole lineup of new Road Glides. This black one here is pretty badass. That's a one hundred and fourteen. Wow! Look at that. That's a beauty. Anything catch your eye, Christy? That looks comfy to you, huh? How about this one hundred and fourteen Street Bob over here? That thing. That cool. Look at the tires on it. it. Looks like something the Hulk would drive, you know? I know. Wow. These things are pretty fast, too, the 114s. Upside down forks, triple disc brakes, longer travel suspension. Here's another 114. Soft tail. And uh, around the back side over here, they've got a nice selection of uh, they have a trike some pre-owned bikes, and then a huge selection of accessories. American motorcycles. Experience true freedom. This is one you liked over here, Christy, this uh, touring bike. Looks comfortable, huh? This guy's got a killer stereo on it too, huge speakers. Nice ultra classic. The heart of Dixie, Harley Davidson, Monday morning. So they have a really nice selection of Harley Davidson clothing and accessories too. for a brand new Road King. That's not bad. 18,000, that's not too bad. 
17 grand for this one. Probably pre-owned with a little bit of miles on it, but it looks brand new. Yeah. Some pre-owned full dressers over here. Here's a 2013 for 13 grand. Nice selection of jackets. I actually have this jacket right here. I like that one. Women's jackets over here. That one's pretty sharp. Boots. How about some Harley Davidson luggage if you want to run away from home? Hopefully we can get this service department to fire up a couple bikes for us. Sometimes I, I'm a, a, afraid of going in these kind of stores because I'll see something shiny and chrome with two wheels that I have to have that I can't really afford right now. <laughs> Doesn't happen too often. Last time that happened was at the uh, Daytona with Junior when we saw the 2017 Harley Davidson Dyna S. I fell in love with that. I had to have one. Then we ran out of money and I had to sell it, unfortunately. But uh, easy come, easy go, I guess. I'm gonna head into the service department, see what kind of cool projects they got going on back here. Massive facility. Of course, it's got a massive service department back here. And they're doing a project on a, a Evo engine, which is not something all shops are doing anymore. So I'm gonna take a look at that. And I guess there's some nice choppers back here too. Beautiful, well-lighted. Immaculate service department. All kinds of builds going on here. Yeah, this guy's got 100, 148,000 miles. So, what do you got here? Uh, he's got uh, 148,000 miles on this thing, and, uh, and he's just uh, he's getting a little bit of top end noise. So, we're going to go ahead and put some new guides in there, recut them, and um, we just want to go ahead and do a total rebuild on it and just get another. Get another 150,000 miles out of this Evo, so. You can tell from the valve cover, it's an Evolution motor. Um, 80 cubic inch, more than likely, right? Yep. 1340. Yeah. I've got friends that have over 200,000 miles on Evos that have the original motor in them, still just re-gasketing re re them, actually yeah, in a soft tail. Yeah, These motors are notorious for going a long ways. Yeah, they're completely rebuildable, you know, the new stuff's not like that, so. Are you doing any performance mods on it? or He going? wants to go just back stock cam, crank everything. He wants gas mileage. Awesome. He takes this thing out west every year. So. I heard there was a chopper out here, too. Um, I mean, we've got Darren's Bible back there. If you want to get it, uh, yeah, let's check it out. What's going on, boys? What's going on? You the guys, you on YouTube. Do you watch us on YouTube? Yeah. Well, you're going to be on our, on our video today. What's your name? Patrick. Patrick, what do you do here? I'm a tech. Cool. On. So we're talking about what lights their fire, what what uh, what they're excited about being here at the Harley Davidson shop. There's a new model coming out. What, what is it? It's a Pan America. Pan America, and uh, that's coming out very soon, right? Yeah, February. Uh, February. Is it February? I think the end of February is when. What, what's going on in January? What, what, so. what is January 19th? We mentioned that. Uh, they're doing that. Uh, they're doing that online, uh, like reveal, bike reveal deal. Um, so there may be some unre unreleased to the public yeah, I'm not bikes. Sure. I gotta, got a flyer up there on that it's a uh, yeah you know with the dealer shows every year we always got to wait till the dealer shows where we can come out with the new bikes but i, I don't think they're, they're doing a dealer show this year though. no yeah so i think they're doing it online yeah so that's kind of what they're doing i heard you got a badass chopper back here and a cvo 1 131 uh, was it yeah we got a 131 we did on a, on a cvo and then uh is that in the showroom or is that out back here it's on the other side over there the, can we fire it up yeah, it's been sitting back there a well, while. I don't know. <laughs> where's where's the chopper? Uh, Darren's father's over here. He's working on. Um, it's actually on the other side of here. So it's up over there. Huge shop. How many how many lifts you guys got here? Man, wow. We got, a, we got a lot. <laughs> five on this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. This is like a twenty-four lift shop. This has got to be. Damn near close to 10,000 square foot, right? That's a yeah, big, big investment. Like when you're waiting on parts, you know, you don't got to pull it off. And yeah. Uh, 
Wow, this place is massive. So it's when the new bikes come in, this is where they go. Yep. How did last year stack up for you guys? What's that? How'd last year stack up for you guys? The, yeah, uh, we did pretty good. Uh, I was kind of worried about the coronavirus and everything. Yeah, I think we all were. But, uh, yeah, we did pretty good as far as southeast goes. So. Awesome, awesome. Uh, that's, the that's the bobber? Yeah, that's the old uh, 94 spokes, sports motor in there. Wow. Um, nice, nice. One of your guys that works here is building this? Yeah. So. That's a, is that a 1200? Yeah. Uh, no, it's 883. Just 883? It's going to be a pretty sharp piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty cool. Hard tail with Sportster forks, mag tires. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Got a Bandito's MC. <laughs> One oh, percenter yeah. bike here. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. So the waiting street bikes over there for the for the rider. Yeah. Like, so you do a, over here. These are the bikes that they do the rider education course here. Yeah. To get uh, the newbies on the bikes, these are what are these Harley 750s? They're actually 500s. 500s? Um, but yeah, they usually run a class every weekend. And they got the crash bars on them. Those come in handy, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. How many how many accidents uh, have they? Uh, I mean, there's usually a pretty good bit, man. They. Uh, Who's XR? That is uh, the owners or uh, the general manager. That's his. Uh, like his, uh, his old lady, her her brother, he passed away a while ago, so he just can't get rid of it. So what's the worst accident you've had in the class? Uh, a couple months ago, we had a we had a lady come through the the, the side of the building on one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so she, she came right through the damn building. <laughs> yeah, well, it pushed the brick in on the. Uh, oh man. You can go around front and look at it, but it literally pushed the, the center block. Let me guess, she whiskey throttled it. Oh yeah, hard. <laughs> that's, that's We've seen that before, huh, guys? That's doing something on these things. Did it total the bike, or? Oh yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Was she okay? <laughs> yeah, she was fine. She... No, I think they can't got it. Uh, no, 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 that's it right here. This is it. This is the one that hit yeah. the building. Yeah, this, well, they're they're supposed to come. Oh my God! Look now. at the forks on this thing. That had to be pretty embarrassing. Did she? Uh, let me guess. She flunked the class, huh? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't make it today too, but it's, did, did, did she ever come back, or was she all done? I think she was done, man. Uh, she, that was it, huh? I haven't heard of anything. You know, I hate, I hate to see that. In reality, and honestly, in my opinion, instead of starting on one of these, you should start them on one of those. A little 100cc Honda yeah. in a grassy field like my front yard. Because yeah. there's no buildings, and if you fall on the grass, you'll slide, you know? So, oh, yeah. More people have learned to ride on a Honda mini bike probably than any other motorcycle yeah. on the planet. And ironically, most badass biker... Uh, the baddest bikers in the world, the one percenter MCs. When I when I go to the motorcycle shows and I bring my little Honda 50s and the 70s, they light up like a little kid. And they're like, I had one of these when I was a kid. You know, oh, yeah. everybody started. Mm -hmm. Got to start somewhere. You know, I mean, a lot of us started on mini bikes. So yeah, I made one. Yeah, those are the best. Square gas tank. Yeah, the first one I had in New Jersey, riding on the streets. My dad had a little. I think it was like a four horsepower Briggs and Strat and hardtail. Yeah, you had to pull the rope. Yeah. yeah. Those the pegs didn't uh, give, so when you went around the curve and hooked the peg, you went in the neighbor's yard. Yeah, that could be a problem. Yeah. So we just got a, a demo on how not to ride a motorcycle. Here's one on how not to work on one. What happened here? How not to redo your forks. I don't know what happened in there, but there's there's some glue on there, and we can't get it apart. <laughs> so one of, your, one of your clients worked on this at home? <laughs> looks yeah. like Looks like they might have used a hammer. Yeah, uh, looks like a die grinder went in there. Um, <laughs> Wow. But, uh, yeah, it's just going to be a whole fork, you know. Shop is beautiful, well lit, tons of lifts, tons of space, very nice. Super clean. Yeah, I've eaten stuff off of floors. Clean, so. I've dropped stuff on floors that needed that were dirtier than these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. This, this is a pass the five second rule for sure. <laughs> so they, they got a hot rod road glide right here. It's been sitting a while. I don't know if the battery might be dead, but this is a what, what is this? Is it a 117? Yeah, yeah it's a 131 now. Wow, look at the paint job on it. Wow, that paint job's off the hook, man. That's my favorite paint job right there. They made, they made uh, one that was more of them. Didn't they make one that was white that had that logo? It looks pretty low.
38 horsepower. That is fast. I'm pushing a, a hundred and almost 106 in mine. This is about a third more, almost 30 horsepower more. That's pretty pretty crazy. And it's a comfortable bike. You got the big fairing, um, nice saddlebags, killer stereo. That's about as good as it gets for a two-up cruiser, highway pegs. What's a bike like a regular CBO like this? This is about a fifty thousand dollar bike, isn't it? Before you build it, right? Yeah, it should be around one ten. Um, no, the front, uh, I think it was. That's the four years ago. My neighbor bought a yeah, CBO. Yeah, that one was like uh, 42, 43. Yeah, yeah. So over forty G, uh, and then you add up on. He's probably got close to fifty thousand tied up in that bike, right? I love the color. Yeah, the but colors I mean, incredible. You put that kit on there, and uh, it's warranty compliant, so you can get 130 horsepower. That's, about a price price to to That's a beautiful exhaust, man. I haven't seen this yet. It's a Vance and Hines. Oh, it looks yeah. like a. Is that yeah. something new? No. Nah. Yeah, that's been around. A lot of people don't. don't take that. Competition only. It's, it, yeah, yeah, I've never, I've never seen the brush stainless. That's, yeah. that's sharp. Yeah. Look at the paint job on this one, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. That thing is beautiful. He's got some money tied up. I wonder, wonder what inspired him to do that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Street, look at the license plate. Street Pride. Wow. That cost a pretty penny for that kind of artwork. Yeah. Screaming Eagle engine. Killer stereo. How big is that? Was it like a 29, 30? That's either 30 or 31. Yeah. Wow. Very cool. That's pretty yeah. wild. Wow. This is my favorite new Harley right here. This is a low, what's called a Lowrider S. It's kind of a, uh, I would say it's a spiritual successor of the, of the Dyna. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's a soft tail Dyna right there. Yeah, it's a soft tail <laughs> Dyna of the, of the Dyna, uh, Dyna S. So uh, this is a 114. I rode one of these at Maroney's. They ride really good. Yeah. It has a very similar uh, like a gold style rim, I guess you'd call it. I don't know if that's gold or pewter like the Dyna S had. But it doesn't have the Harley Davidson bar and shield. It's got a cool, that's like a 70s Harley logo almost, that Harley Davidson logo. If I was buying a new Harley, it, it, you know, for myself to rip around on, it'd probably be this one. If I was getting one to ride with Christy, I'd go with that CVO Road Glide over there. This is a jump start station right here, uh, electric. We actually bought one of these, but it's not mounted in the frame uh, and it's very difficult to use. So we should probably copy this. Christy, can you take a picture of this and send it to Bill Blythe? We spent about 1200 bucks on the motor, but we didn't build the frame. I think we should build something like this. I was thinking about putting it in a lift, actually. I like that paint job. This is probably the fastest motorcycle in the dealership right here. I'm going to have to call this a sleeper because I walked right by it. I didn't give it a second look, but here's the proof in the foot. 135 rear wheel horsepower, 142 foot pound of torque. That is fast. So tell, tell me about the build. Um, who, who built this motor, and, and how did uh, they end up with those kind of numbers? Uh, we, we just, a guy came in wanting to build a bad motor, so we went through, uh, through T-Man, and just, what, what's, the, what's the baddest twin cam you can do that, that you who, can ride who, on the street? Good. Who is T-Man, and how did he get that nickname? Uh, that's just an aftermarket company. They do, uh, like, we sent the cases off to them. Yeah. Uh, they bored the cases and did the flywheel and, and we sent the heads to them and they, they milled them and, and cut them and, and there it is. So. T-Man 124, 124 cubic inch, right? Yeah. 135 horsepower, 142 foot pump. These aren't, pie, these aren't pie in the sky numbers. Those are proven dyno numbers right there. D&D yeah. &D Borzilla 2 in 1 exhaust, 17G. That's actually a really good deal, isn't it? Yeah. What would it cost to build that motor? 19, yeah, motors. Yeah, 18,000, something like so that. So basically, buy the motor, get the bike for free. Yeah. I mean, wh why would you want to buy a new one when you can buy this, man? Yeah. This thing's an absolute it, absolute rocket ship. You probably go through a lot of rear tires with that kind of torque, huh? Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, what I like about it is the sleeper. It doesn't look that fast, but I guarantee you, you pull up at a stoplight and, and anybody else, yeah, they're going to have they their handfuls. They ride smooth, too. They, they don't jar you. Know? 
we got Alabama Turf Works on the scene here and they're brand new. Tremor Ford. It's pretty badass. You know, badass bikes, usually badass trucks are in the parking lot too. Here's another uh, sleeper. It, this is something that uh, you might have walked by without giving it a second look. Or Cam Screaming Eagle Stage 4 with a 6 speed transmission. Vance Hines Big Radius 2 and a 2 exhaust. That wind, that wind bearing with the radio. And hey, it's a dyno, so it had me at hello. tunes on it the only thing I would change is I'd put a thunderheader on here now this hey guys this is this is heart of Dixie Harley Davidson give them a call if you're looking for a hot rod Dyna for 11,000 bucks you can't go wrong man this has got the stage 4 kit on it 6 speed transmission Dynas are getting hard to come by this is a Dyna wide glide it's already set up the backrest and a nice big comfy Mustang saddle engines built beautiful paint job on it it's got the fairing and the speakers so it's a raked out wide glide, sharp ride, and it's an all day rider too. Forward controls, nice and comfy, plenty of horsepower. So this is Matt, he is the service manager. How, how long have you been here, Matt? Uh, started in 08, so 12, going on 13 years. And you were up in uh, Chicago area, right? Uh, I worked in, up in Detroit, where I'm from. Detroit. Yep, and uh, worked at Detroit Harley for a little bit, and then moved down here, you know, better riding season, so. How, how many years you been in the industry? Um, I don't know, uh, probably about, just about 15 years, something and, like And you're a young man, you're only 30, 34 years old, right? Yeah, yeah. So you got into, you, you, what, what got you well, into it, your love for motorcycles? Yeah, I mean, I was kind of a, I was a kid at home and my parents were like, you gotta do something, what do you wanna do? And I was like, well, I like music and motorcycles. So they're like, well, why don't you go work on bikes? And I was like, that's probably better than music, so here I am. <laughs> so Hard of Dixie Harley Davidson right yeah. in Birmingham, Alabama. If you want a kick ass race motor built or a street motor, this guy can do it for you. Yeah, Harley Davidson motors, parts. Yeah. Uh, if you got an Evo motor you need to redone, you're one of the few shops that's yeah. still working on the old stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah, we'll touch them as a, a case by case basis, you know. So some of them are pretty rough, but and, and these guys got you these guys got you covered in the parts department. Give them a call. They've got some killer bikes and reasonable prices too. Thanks for watching everybody. Come down to Alabama, check it out. Heart of Dixie, Harley Davidson. Thanks for watching and God bless America.